Angela Bevan, we're at the start of the walkway up to Mount Victoria Lookout. Yeah. It's going to be a great little hikoi. Luckily we've got all our, our gear because the wind is starting to blow, but really looking forward to it. How about you lead the way? Absolutely. Alright, you ready to go? Yep. And I think we're meeting Carl at the top. Oh, true. Cool. Looking forward to it. See him soon. We've enjoyed a great walk up here to Mount Victoria and I want to introduce you now to Carl who is from Toitu Te Whenua, Land Information New Zealand. So Carl you're an expert in maps and you've found this map of the area and it tells us quite a bit about the walk that we've been on with Bevan. Yeah I have, this is a great map. This map has our five key components to make up a map. So our title, Mai Tarangi, Mount Victoria. We have a north arrow here, so we know where north is if we want to compare it with our other maps. We have a scale bar. We have a great picture here with his own, there's only colour in the highlighted area that's important to us. Um, and that's a really key thing for good looking maps. And we have this map key or legend as well. And because this map is all about the tracks in the area, it tells us important things about the features that we're going to see. So you can see on the map here we have different colours for the different tracks we go on and those colours actually map our, match our map, uh, our track markers which is a good thing um, and it also has these numbers because if we put these numbers which match to names on the map we're just going to end up with a whole lot of names and a really cluttered map so that's great. There's also lots of points of interest in here and these are obvious symbols that people um, can recognise so like we have toilet symbols and parking symbols uh, main entrance symbols and bus symbols, but there's also a couple of other really cool symbols like the Hobbit Hideaway, which is where the Lord of the Rings is one of the Lord of the Rings film locations. Uh, this map has contour lines on it, but there are actually no contour values on the map. So what we have as a special part of this map, which we don't see on our Topo 50 maps, is a cross section for our elevation. So what this shows us is how high up and down we will be going uh, in our walk, how far along it will actually take us uh, with a distance as well. So you can sort of measure how fast you actually walk and compare it with what's actually on the map. But it also has you know, places where we get to here and we're really tired, should we go back down the bottom because we're not going to make it or can we think actually we're almost at the top so let's carry on and that's another important thing for our safety. Um, on this map because obviously with the trail you map a trail when it's got two names or two uses when we show it on the map we actually offset them so we talk about our cartographic representation of the features so anywhere we've got two walking tracks we show them side by side but where we've got a walking track and a mountain bike track our mountain bike tracks are picked lines and our walking tracks are solid lines so something to be aware of there is your own safety there are actually people mountain biking and walking on it but if we look at our bike priority tracks, we can see that's an intermediate track for mountain bikers. So hopefully they won't be going too fast um, and it's more of a easier journey and they can stop if things turn to custard. Mm, and it's a, a shared pathway in those areas where walkers are close and bikers know to, to give way to, to walkers. So we've got a lot represented on that map and it's similar to the topo maps that Linz produces. The contour lines on those are marked though, aren't they? Can you show us those? Yeah, I can. Um, I've got a map here. So our contour lines uh, on our Topo 50 maps, uh, as we see down here, have a ver uh, it's vertical interval between them of 20 metres. So that means between each contour, there's a 20 metre difference. So what we've got to watch out for with our contours is that when those lines are very close together, it means there's a great change in height and a very short X and Y distance. So that's a very steep area and that's what we've got to watch out for. When they're more open, that means it's a flat area. So on our map here, we see that Hataito Park 
has no contours going through it because it's actually a very flat area but then we see up around Alexandra Road that those contours are very close together which means that that's a hillside going down that's very steep that we should be aware of. Fantastic. It's incredible to have so much information just in one visual map like that. Hey, thanks for talking us through that, Carl, and looking forward to um, taking a bearing and not getting lost later on. Thanks. Excellent. Well, you can't come all this way without actually getting up to the high point and having a look out over Wellington, so let's go and check it out.